Hey guys, in recent times I've been really really into curling my hair because I have really tried hard to get that Kim Kardashian look where like the bottom is more curled than the top but it still looks natural to where you can wear it on a daily basis but it also looks more done up if you wear it out so it's really versatile and I've been trying really hard to get that look and so due to that I've been experimenting with a lot of different curling irons, irons and I want to give you guys a rundown on three different curling irons that I have right now and kind of explain to you what the differences are. The first one I'm going to talk about is the Revlon 3 4 inch curling iron right here. It has got a really great um, little thing right here like on the clip because it's kind of hard to open but it's far away enough from these buttons here that your fingers don't, don't end up touching those in the process of clipping your hair. However, the thing with this curling iron is that this clip is so, so tight that it's impossible to get your curls to look like they don't, like they haven't been clipped. Like, you know, like on the bottom of your curling iron, if you like, if you clip your hair in here, it's going to look like, it's going to leave like an indentation in your hair. With this curling iron, this clip is so, so tight that it's nearly impossible not to get that. Also with this, this curling iron, iron is going to give you a very ringlet type look, like a very, um, like a very like tight uh, very unnatural looking curl or it could be very natural to those girls who are born with extremely extremely curly hair it's very difficult to get a natural look with this curling iron however i love the handle because of the way it's shaped it is very natural to hold your hand doesn't get tired because this curling iron is very light and it has 30 heat settings and for my hair i put it on 30 and use it and i don't have to leave this in my hair very long at all to achieve that ringlet type look um also, the, this little part of here doesn't like heat up at all and I like the fact that it's big enough to where you can hold this without getting burned because it's thick enough to, to wrap your fingers around here when you're curling and not get burned. And this was, I think, like $12, $13 from Walmart is where I got it from. My next curling iron, also by Revlon, is my one and a half inch right here. You can see there's a huge difference in these two sizes right here. This um, this one is pretty much the exact same curling iron, has the same 30 settings, the exact same handle, um, the same length of this no heat part right here as well. The only problem with this iron is that for some reason I feel like it doesn't get as hot as this iron even though it's got the same temperature settings or I mean, or that's just what it feels like to me. I don't know if that's exactly true though. Also, with this curling iron right now, when I curl my hair, it takes me a much, much longer time to do my hair with this. Because um, no matter how long I leave it in my hair for, I sit there and count and count and count for it to look like it's been curled. Because if you leave this in for like the normal 10 seconds, which everybody says to do when you're curling your hair, only the end will get like a little bit flipped out or flipped in. Like it won't actually have curls in your hair. So this curling iron, I'm not really sure if it does what I want it to do. Like it gives me the whole Kim look, but it takes a much, much longer time to do that because it just, because of how big this, this barrel is, it takes a much longer time for the heat to disperse around it and, you know, evenly go through your hair and curl it. So I'm just not very impressed by this. I don't know if it's only because of the size of the barrel or because this is just not hot enough to give you like the curls that I want at least. My third curling iron is a Conair 1 and 1 fourth inch. This is 1 and a half inch, this is 1 fourth. And I can see a noticeable difference in size. This is what I've used to, to curl my hair today. This is what my hair looks like. I feel like it's really similar to what I wanted to get. The only thing I'm not happy about is the results on the, like the top of my head right here. But I'm pretty sure if I keep working with it, I can figure that out. Um, this has 25 heat settings, and I feel like this, this gets hot in 30 seconds, which is really, really good. The only problem with this is the cord is really, really short, so you have to be very close to wherever you plan on standing or sitting to curl your hair, because I'm looking at it right now, and I think it's like 3 feet, which is really short. These, these ones, however, the Revlon ones, have very, very long cords. I think it's like 8 feet or 8 to 10 feet, which is really long. So that's not exactly the most user-friendly um, aspect of this curling iron. Also, if you look at this clip and you look at where it hits down here, it's very, it's right on top of the numbers right here. And when I'm holding this, the way I hold my iron is like my hand seems to like hit right here and I clip it down. And this, 
little dial here for heat settings ends up turning without me meaning to, which is kind of annoying because I always put it on 25 to curl my hair, and I always hit this every single time I curl a strand of hair, and it bumps back to like 15 or 13, so I have to like quickly, again, adjust it, which is really, really highly annoying. Also, this thing, it's like, um, the packaging claims that this is also a no heat part of the iron, but I definitely got burned with this. So I'm not too happy with that. Um, also, the other thing is that I like the clip a lot. It's tight, but it, it for some reason didn't leave any indentation on my hair, and I'm not really sure why. Also, this curling iron has this little thing right here to where you can lay a curling iron on this so it's not touching your wood or wh wherever you're laying this down, which is good so that part of your furniture doesn't get heated up, which is a good thing because you don't want your furniture to get burned. The only thing is I'm not crazy about this handle. I prefer the handle of these because I like I think it's just this this iron's also a lot lighter than this is it's a lot heavier and it's so straight that it's almost it's very unnatural but this gave me the best results in terms of um, curling hair than these two did so I don't know what's a better payoff also this one was I think $14 which is really really cheap and it has four different types of metal over here to to stop your hair from you know from like uh, frying which is good, but it's not like, it's not tourmaline or ceramic or anything like that. So, um, oh, also it has a turbo button right here, which means that, I forgot what the highest temperature setting is for this, but this will give you, um, 20 degrees more to curl your hair faster. So if you're in a rush and you want to do that, you can do that, but I wouldn't suggest doing this on a daily basis because 20 degrees is a lot in terms of, um, heat for your hair, and since this isn't ceramic or tourmaline, it's not going to protect your hair. So I wouldn't use this, um little function of this iron very often if I don't have to just because I, I don't really want to ruin my hair using curling irons but um with all these different things with the irons my favorite one is this even though I've ended up burning myself much faster with this and this little gauge thing is annoying because this gives me the best results and in the end that's what I want I want results so if you guys know of any other curling irons that you think can help me achieve that that look of like the Kim Kardashian hair without taking very long or without burning myself please let me know I will say though that when I used this iron, the one and a half inch, to create this look, it created a very similar look, but it took me about 40 minutes. This took me about 20, so it cut the, the heat down by half. So I'm not sure if it's because this iron's hotter, because I don't know if that's true, but I personally think it's because of the barrel. Like this one maybe just be may just be a little bit too big to give you that look. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed my review. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.